and welcome to my channel. So today I thought I would do a very quick post review of this uh, Diamond Art Studio sampler pack that I got. If you've not seen the unboxing of that, I will put a link up in the corner. Uh, that eye will stay up there until the end of the video. So if you want to watch this first and then go to the unboxing after, you, you can. It's there the whole time. And uh, yeah, basically Diamond Art Studio is a brand new, I say brand new, I think they've been going three months maybe now, something like that. Uh, but they're a brand new diamond painting company set up in the UK. Uh, they do poured glue canvases, yay! And, uh, <laughs> but they also do um, a very nice sort of sampler set of one of their round diamond paintings and one of their square diamond paintings. So you do get a chance to check them out. So I'll just move that. I've got this ribbon here for this post review. Uh, their their pa diamond paintings come up wrapped up lovely, and this is one of the ribbons that you get that wraps up the box. I was saying in the unboxing video, it feels like getting a present. It's really nice. Anyway, so these are the two um, small snack size diamond paintings that I did. As you can see, they are very small. This is a 15 by 15 and a 13 by 17. Uh, this is the round. This is the square. And just so that you know, the sizes referred to do count as the uh, the painting size, not the canvas size. So that the canvas is, itself is bigger. These sizes that they mention, they do sell by the uh, you know the plotting size where you're putting the drills. So I'll very quickly go into this one first. So this is the round one. Uh, one thing I didn't notice on the unboxing is both of these canvases do have a little bit of sparkle in them. I don't even think it can be picked up in the camera. Um, that is such is the nature of filming on your phone. But there is sparkle in this canvas, which is it's just a small thing. Uh, but it's just a really nice touch because who doesn't like sparkle? Especially if you're doing a diamond painting. That's why you're doing a diamond painting. We love that bling. So yeah, this is the round. So I'll just very quickly get out the drills. Uh, that is the, my, my trash from both of them. So not very much. Uh, as you can see, there are lots and lots and lots of spare drills. Actually, let me just... I'll show you that. That's what it came out like. Very, very nice, uh, nicely plotted. But I'll just turn it over there so that I can put the drills. But as you can see, plenty of spares. There was never any worry about running out of drills. I think that's the, maybe those, those two are the smallest. And there were, that's in the middle of the flower. And that's, yeah, it wasn't a problem. At no point was I worried about um, running out of drills. So that was good. And they are nice quality drills as well. They are resin, not acrylic. So that's nice. And uh, I, you can't tell it very well because, you know, that's the way it is. But this is a very sparkly canvas. And you can tell, you can, I think you can tell the difference between acrylic and resin drills based on the sparkle. Because this definitely feels sparklier than the likes of ones that I do from, say, fan cells and the like, uh, which are like those budget ones. So, yeah. You do get really nice drills. So that was the round. I'll just move that to one side. And then this is the square, which is so cute. This can I'm not even a cat person. Love this one. So um, these are the drills. I now I've just noticed there's some loose drills in the bag, which means yeah, I only I didn't put these into pots or anything. So I've just been using a bit of um, washi tape, and my washi tape has come open. So I do have a little bit of a spillage there. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. So, um, as you can see though, once again, um, plenty, oh, that one was open as well. Oh dear. Um, we have plenty of spare drills. Once again, wasn't a worry at all. At no point with either of these canvases did I worry about running out of drills, which is always nice because it's hor uh, having run out of drills for a painting in the past, it's really annoying. Even if it's a fairly easy fix, it's just, it's annoying. You should never run out of drills before you're ready. So uh, yeah. Now then, I will talk quickly as well about the toolkit. Cause uh, my only small bugbear, and it is a small bugbear, it's certainly nothing that I would, um, let's put the, let's bring the daisy back. Cause they're, these are so nice. We need to look at these. Um, my only um, small, in fact, let's talk about first before I move away from the drills. I mentioned it before, this is the trash that I got from both paintings and it, it's really not a lot and 
I'm told that um, with resin drills, you get they're nicer quality, but there's also a risk of more trash. Uh, but as long as they're giving plenty of spare drills, it, honestly, who who cares? So I had a couple with nobbles, mainly the squares. There was a couple of rounds, but mainly it was the squares that had the nobbles. And in the rounds, it was the rounds that had the little sort of almost drips that got through. I think I only had one, one, yeah, one round that had nobble on. But the rest, yeah, so very happy with the quality of drills, to be honest. Um, but I will mention quickly the the trays. So if you saw in the unboxing, they do have a little bit of a rough edge. You can even see on that one uh, how it, I think you can see if the camera can pick it up. There's like the sticky out bit. Um, and uh, but you know that in itself isn't a big deal but we'll just have the pen here in fact let's use the one with the drills in so the the drills the trays are warped so this one can you see how that's almost a tiddlywink situation and i thought first of all maybe it was just the one but no they are both uh warped now this isn't a big deal because as long as you know about it you'd, you'd have to be very unlucky perhaps you can see it better from this way see how it moves and that's simply because both trays are warped um, but most people if you're into diamond painting a lot of people actually buy their own trays and I did actually mention this to Samantha who is like the director at Diamond Art Studios and I think she mentioned that you know they they do sell accessories as well as diamond paintings on their site and I think you know as soon as they can find the right um, supplier they might even be selling their own sort of high quality trays so yeah, it is annoying, but it is in the grand scheme of things, it's a minor quibble because these are the trays that you do get with all the kits. Um, I will mention the tweezers. I didn't use the tweezers much. Generally, I like to place uh, square drills with tweezers in general, uh, but obviously I wanted to use the pen as much as possible. So this is the pen you get with it and you get the blue wax. And I'm happy to say that the blue wax is, uh, yeah, Blue Axe is really good. Generally, I use Blue Tack for my diamond paintings, but I enjoyed losing this. And you can see how much I've dipped into that. That's not from here. I've actually been doing another diamond painting since. So that says a lot of how much I like the Blue Wax because I'm actually opting to use that instead of Blue Tack at the moment. So, yeah, all in all, that's a very good experience. They're a brand new company uh, who are growing at, at, at rapid speed. Uh, customer services customer services customer service does seem very high for them and important for them as well um you know that's always good having a company you know a small business that cares is always nice and uh yeah i will definitely definitely be buying a full-size painting from these this company to, you know I, i'm not sure what to buy a round or a square though it's such a it was so nice to do both styles i don't actually know which i'm going to buy next but um, they've just been announcing recently on their Facebook page. Uh, I, I'll try and remember to leave a link to their Facebook page. Uh, they are on Facebook. They are on Instagram. Sorry, there's them rogue drills again. Go away. And, um, but they've announced recently on their Instagram that they've got their licensed art coming out. And they've given two teasers so far. Uh, hopefully more on the way. And so I'm, I'm just holding off to see what comes, you know, with licensed art, because I think I'd quite like to uh, buy one of those. But we'll see. We'll see what comes out. Anyway, I hope you found this quick post review useful. What can I say? Just I, I, I feel confident about uh, spending my money with this company. It's a new company and I'm happy with them. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Hit that thumbs up if you found this uh, post review useful and uh, subscribe to the channel. If you, uh, usually I say hit the bell for notifications, but if you are only here for the diamond painting, um, I do have a playlist with all of my diamond painting videos in. Uh, but primarily, as you can tell from the name, I am an adult colouring channel. So I recommend for once to subscribe to the channel, but turn off notifications if you have no interest in adult colouring. And that way you can just pick up from the subscription feed uh, the diamond painting uh, videos. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.